In a recent study done by the CDC, more than four in 10 students felt persistently sad or hopeless, and nearly one third experienced poor mental health. Being mentally healthy during childhood means being able to reach developmental and emotional milestones, learning healthy social skills, and coping with problems. With 50% of CBHA's patients under 18, it was important for us to partner with local schools in our community to deliver care to this population. CBHA was one of five healthcare centers chosen to receive a $500,000 grant from Advocates of Community Health and a total of over $400,000 from the Washington State Department of Health to help find a solution to helping our young people. We remove the barriers between a patient in need and the right provider by offering an on-demand HIPAA compliant chatbot, Quincy. Students can scan a QR code to make an appointment with a CBHA behavioral health counselor or be directed to the 24 seven suicide and crisis hotline. With the help of these grants, we have been able to provide school counselors with the iPads that students can use to schedule their behavioral health appointments or attend the appointment via telehealth. This ensures that students stay in school and go right back to class after their appointment is over. The Washington State Department of Health grant also funded supplies for students at each of the schools, such as art supplies, posters, journals, beanbag chairs, books, and more to help create an inviting space for the youth in the school counseling offices. The grant also funded the raffle items at our teen health fairs like iPads and Apple Watches, along with marketing materials and a 360 photo booth. The ACH grant helped us gift school district staff members Stanley Cups with an engraving that says, healthy students, healthy learners, to promote our chatbot to students and smoothly transition into the new system. With the funds from both of these grants, we were able to bring a solution to students and families who previously had to navigate barriers like coordinating schedules and arranging transportation to appointments. Now parents can be at ease that their students are getting the help they need and still learning in the classroom. We want to ensure that when there is a need, we can provide the right care at the right time and place. Thank you again, Advocates of Community Health and Washington State Department of Health for your generosity and helping bring mental health services to our students.